Hey guys, my Kissick here. Today I'll be showing you how to fix missing or corrupt system file in Windows XP without the recovery CD. So I'll show you what this looks like, just in case. On here, okay, it'll look like this right here. As you can see, so when Windows cannot stop because this fallen file is missing, Windows System 42 config system. That's why it isn't working pretty much so if you get this error I'll be showing you how to fix it today and as I might have said just before this is without the recovery CD so maybe you've lost it or you gave it somebody and never gave it back <laughs> um, that's how to fix it so without a recovery CD so let's get started okay so step one you have to create a USB boot disk with Linux using Unit Booting. So you're going to need a PC that works in that connection, a USB stick that is at least 2 gigabytes in size, and a copy of Unit Booting. I'll show you how to get the copy right now. So navigate to this one right here. Let me just show you from scratch. So you type in, um, go to Unit Booting. Click on that first one. Click on here, and then it'll pop up down here. I have to remember to cancel like it's done. Put it on. It's already got. Okay, cancel. Okay, so it's down here. Shown folder, and then right-click shown folder. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. And then put it to your desktop somewhere where you know where it is, or anywhere where you want to put it, it's your choice, not mine. If you open it, like this. Okay, and then what you want to do here, you want to go click on this, go down, not this one, not X Ubuntu, you want to go to Ubuntu, without the X, just a null, like this. And then go to this recommended one. You don't really want to go for a test one because it might be unstable. And then you plug in USB drive that you want to put it on. Make sure the USB drive is formatted to FAT32 or it won't work. Not NTFS or any other format. Okay, before you get started. And then I'll bring up so find your USB drive. So say it's like in drive H or something. Or drive D, find drive DH, USB drive. Make sure this is ISO, and it should be good. And then press OK when you finish. That will put it onto the USB drive. And then you'll be ready to go. So, accept that. Oh, close up. Um, okay, so step two. Okay, so boot into Linux off the USB. So, the PC you want to fix. Turn it on, and press. It's F12, I'm pretty sure, that which opens a BIOS setup. I'll show you what that looks like. The BIOS setup looks like, like this kind of thing. The boot device menu. Then you want to click on the USB device. Right there. So that will load up into Unit Booting. Close that. Um, okay, so step 3. On a Step two, I mean. Um, so when it opens up, it'll look like this. Click English. You want to try Ubuntu. Not install, just try. So you click on try. Because if you install it, it'll like wipe your data. So try it. Like that. And then it'll kind of look like. It'll look like this when it g comes on, <laughs> not normal windows. And um, moving on to the next step. So step three, you have to locate the system32 slash config folder. This is a little web link, kind of, well not web link. It's like in a folder, it's like that bit there. You know what I mean, like this bit. Okay, so got a picture for that somewhere. The pictures for everything. Oh yeah, that one opened up. 
So if you can see here, you click on this little folder icon, move to the like the C drive or whichever drive you have in, whichever drive the OS is on. You navigate to Windows. That's a Windows folder there. Then you want to make sure it's go to Windows and then the system fight to config and then leave that open if you like slide it to the see if it's like this and you just move it to the right of the page and clicks like this and then you want to right click here open a new window like on a little folder icon and then you want to have like these two side by side like this oh no not like this sorry wrong picture like like this I'll show you how to get up to that. So you want to open a new document window, go to C, System Volume Information, that should be oh yeah okay so it's just in the C bit, just by Windows it's called System Volume Information and then this one here, Restore, it's got loads of numbers and letters after it um, okay, sorry for the same um, alarms, trying to see what to say. And then if you would go to this one here, you'll have like loads of RPs. If you want to go to the highest one, so say it's RP 295 on the, in this occasion. But maybe like RP 282 or RP 285, just go to the highest one. Yep, and then open that, and you'll get something like this. So you put that on the right side and this on the left side, or the left side and right side. And it doesn't really matter, just to your preference. Okay, and then in the RP1, you go to Snapshot, and you find... Well, let me find it, one sec. Um... One sec. Okay, so um, in a snapshot one, you go into there and you'll find something like either you'll find registry machine system and regist registry machine software. So you get those two files and you copy them to this one here. So you just right click and copy, like maybe in like um separately maybe put them in here and this little file here not in the system profile just in the config so you put them in here just to double check and then after you've done that you go back to the the snapshot folder where you found them and you change them to system.old and software.old for the one that like this one here registry machine software change that on software.old and this one system.old And then the ones that you put in here, just change them to software and system in capital letters, like this. Because there's old ones in here which are already called software, you see, in lowercase. So put them in capital letters, not lowercase, or this will mess it up, okay? So the new ones you put in. Capital as software, and the old ones change them to software old and system old in the snapshot folder. Okay, so once you've done that, this is the moment of truth where you would like to restart the system. I'll still check. Didn't miss anything. You rename them. Okay, so you restart it, and then if you see the screen, it means it's worked. And if you see that screen before, it means it hasn't worked. And just kind of repeat the steps. Okay. So, hopefully it works. Good luck, guys. Be McKissick here. If you find this helpful or, you know, kind of helped you a little bit, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.